Well, India has a very huge infrastructure deficit. Uh, we recognize that, and uh, in this infrastructure deficit, uh, our highest priority now to sustain our growth, we hope to be hitting 8% this year, 9% uh, next year. And if we have to remain on this growth trajectory, we have to bridge the infrastructure deficit. Are you going to meet those targets? Because I believe you are planning on what, building about 20 kilometers <coughs> of highways a day, 7,000 kilometers of highways a year. Are, are, the, are the contracts and the awarding of these contracts on schedule? Is this target going to be reached? Well, I hope uh, from June, from June we would be hitting, um, we were doing two kilometers a day. We are now at about 13. And doing tw 20 kilometers a day, as you rightly said, is 7,000 kilometers uh, a year. And to be able to complete 7,000 kilometers a year, you would have 20,000 kilometers of work in progress. 20,000 kilometers of work in progress is $50 billion. So you need to have capacity to manage this huge work in progress of $50 billion. And that has been the biggest challenge, the capacity building to manage it. Mm. Is India going to see a direct translation of all this spending, not just in jobs creation, but in efficiencies translated into GDP growth, and by how much? Well, if we are able to do 7,000 kilometers a year, it'll mean about 1.8% uh, to our GDP. And that's a huge number. So. Uh, it's not merely translated into jobs. It's the creation of economic activity in the most backward areas, which haven't felt the impact of growth. Now, I understand that you are actively now seeking bids for nine current road projects, mega road projects, yes. or at least in the next few weeks, we understand that you're going to be accepting bids for the first one. Uh, yeah. can, you, can you name some names, some countries, some companies that are coming in, as whether public-private partnership, how is this being well? Sixty percent, sixty percent will be in in the PPP mode on toll. Uh, another twenty-five percent will be on annuity, which means a semi-annual payment over sixteen or twenty years. And we think that uh, international companies, contracting companies, are going to come in. International investors, because India they see as a good investment destination. Yeah. And uh, in construction, we're going to see some of the big players with each project being close to a billion dollars. Can you name a couple of names? Give me something. Well, they're in Rajasthan, they're in Gujarat. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be in Madhya Pradesh. Some of the big companies, though, that are big. Uh, the big companies, I expect the French. Uh, companies like Wincy have been talking. Albertis from Spain. Uh, Atlantia from Italy. Uh, they're large companies uh, who are looking at uh, India to come in for the larger contracts. Mm -hmm. But those on the 100 million, 200 million have got uh, really interest as consortiums with Indian companies. Mm. But there is a huge interest and uh, I think that we are going to see a lot of international uh, contracting companies 